All right, so I've just been informed we're gonna hit up a store called Sakura. Yeah, it seems to be some type of Japanese store. I'm anticipating accessories, stationery, toys. Find out. I could possibly be absolutely wrong, uh, which would actually be a pleasant surprise. But we'll see. So I was actually wrong, <laughs> which I'm pleasantly, su pleasantly surprised. Here's something you could appreciate for small businesses. 100% eco-friendly, non-toxic, non-paraben shampoos and conditioners. I guess orange soda? It's like orange soda. Mm -hmm. In like a really not typical bottle. I have to love Asian food marts. So we just left the street fair and we're on our way back. It was a really nice street fair. So saw a lot of different things. I kind of wish I got a little bit of closer footage, but I just kind of wanted to pass through. This is a random blog. So there's a lot of food, everything from like Mexican sausage and bread, peppers and stuff like that, hot dogs, corn dogs, waffle and dinges. We had uh, dough from Brooklyn, as well as uh, the takoyaki stand. So everything, everything represented which is, if you're a native to New York, that's what you're gonna get. Uh, so yeah, all good things. And I get to get my exercise. So even though I had that green tea frap and some of the, and some, some of the waffle and ninjas, I did not walk it off. No, I didn't. You know how many calories is in a, in a green tea frap? Throw my lunch away. Who's counting calories? Not this guy. Apparently not. Although I need to. So, any thoughts on the street fair? Uh, pretty standard street fair. It's been going on for years. I believe this is probably the last one for the summer. Uh, pretty good. I mean, I think this one probably a little more versatile than the ones I've seen before. A lot of dentists for some reason. Yeah, um, a lot of dentist stands actually. Very, very versatile, nice lots of different food. Pretty cool. Yeah, agreed. Three hours later. All right, so we're just waiting for Kat to come back. She's getting out of work and then we're probably gonna go out in a little bit. But I did kind of want to show a little bit of John's expertise in terms of uh, what he's very passionate about and what I'm passionate about as well is in the details. So uh, so, here's some, so here's some gear stuff. I'm gonna ask and pick his brain about it. Yeah, so what do we got here? So uh, real quick, I just wanted to show you this feature uh, on this Evergoods backpack, this MPL30. So uh, I took this pack with us on our recent trip to Canada, uh, and it was the everyday bag I used. So one great feature uh, that just sh shows the thought and details uh, when they, the guys were designing this pack. When you have compression straps on the side of a pack, ten they tend to just put the compression, compression strap either across the whole front or covers the whole front. Um, so what that leads to is when you have items in the main pot, the main body of the pack, 
and you need to get something, you have to unclip all the buckles because it essentially is covering everything in order to uh, unzip it and open it up. But the guys at Evergoods thought about that issue. So here you can compress the pack down to make it as thin as possible when you don't have as much stuff so it still has a slim, nice profile. But in case if you need to get into the pack, um, because the compression straps are here on the side, you can still get into the main body. So an example of that is while we were out, you know, I had, I had my jacket or someone else's jacket cinched up on the side of the pack like this, and it would be cinched up, this would be full of stuff, uh, and then if I needed to get something, it was great because I could just swing it over my shoulder and just open it up right here and get to whatever I needed and still have this cinched up, no problem, doesn't get in the way, get to whatever I need, no problem, done, zip it up and you're good to go. So just a little small feature, but nonetheless, great attention to detail and very, very functional. There you go. Evergood's definitely doing it right. What's the name of the pack again? Do you remember? Uh, this is the, I think I'll show you right here, the label inside. Mountain Panel Loader, 30 liter. There you go. So that is 2019 release Evergoods, the MPL 30 liter, right? Correct? Yep, 30. Oh, MPL awesome. 30. Alright, cool. Great pack. Three hours later. Okay. Alright, so we're headed to Home Depot and uh, we are help John uh, find deal hunting. What are we deal hunting today, John? So on Slick Deals, I found this. It's a listing for a blower and a trimmer. Leaf blower, all right, let's say that. Get it right. Leaf blower uh, to also help dry the car uh, when I wash it. So it's gonna be a dual purpose item. Uh, so I wanna check it out, find it, eh, maybe play with it. If it doesn't work so good, eh, we'll return it, but uh, gotta find it first. So right. we actually went to, um, so there's a site called Brickseek, you know Brickseek, uh, mm -hmm. where you can essentially search the inventory of stores for items that you're looking for. So I checked Brick Seat for this, uh, this other Home Depot uh, that we went to. It was a lost cause, they didn't have it. Uh, it was inaccurate, I asked the staff, couldn't find it. Uh, so this is gonna be our second try. So it's more of a thrill to hunt than anything else. <laughs> it's like me when I collect playing cards, so all right. Uh, let's go and look for it. So, there's gonna be a little trick to this. Now, if we're lucky, the product is sitting in the aisle right away, right there, easy to get. I've heard, I've read online that some people, like the items that they were looking for were up top high uh, because it wasn't listed down there. Now, okay. you can get super crazy with this stuff where I actually know the part number for that thing that I'm looking for. Jesus Christ, So this Christ, way John. we can use that to look up top to find it if we don't find it down here. All right, let's find this thing. A few moments later. So according to Brickseek, they do have four of them in stock. Now let's see if we can find it. 12 seconds later. Okay, so this is a this is a false hope because this looks like what we're looking for, but it's not the right one. Day two. So it's got the it's an 18 volt, 13 inch trimmer plus a whatever True. leaf blower. Now you see that's similar, but that's not it. One eternity later. I'd like to go on record and say that I found it first. So, this is the uh, man right here. This is the man. <laughs> I searched high and low. I was about to go ask and all this, but he thought outside the box. We were we were lying and coming out here, but he got it first. He got it first. This is cheaper, and you're getting a trimmer. Listen, you're talking to the man who knows how to this hunt, my dude. Right here, he got it. Mm. He got it. This guy got it. <laughs> so it seemed like we, we found what we were looking for. We were basically looking for a deal off of Brixit that had this particular. Leaf blower comber, com comber, comber, uh, <laughs> combo for a really, really efficient price. I guess you could say, for lack of a better term, I can't think uh, of. This might be something for your viewers. If you guys are looking for this, uh, now's the time. If you guys are still looking for a blower and a trimmer for some reason, this is a. It seems like a pretty good deal. It's 96 bucks. You're getting the blower and this trimmer, as opposed to this blower by itself. Is advertised for 129. So like, why would you get that by itself when you can get both of these? Exactly. So uh, three in stock. Well, about to be two in stock, but there you go. Right. Sweet, sweet deals. Three hours later. Okay, so we're gonna go towards Trader Do Trader Do's Trader Do's Trader Joe's and uh, slash. <laughs> the container store. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hopefully I spend nothing at the container store. So yep. 
Don't want to spend any money at the container store. Really don't want to spend money at the container store. Alright, so, see you when we get in there. Sunday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh my god. That was a close call. Probably would have spent $100 on here. Thank goodness. So that's it. We just had dinner at a friend's. It literally was like a 12 hour vlog. So we had dinner with those guys back there. <laughs> and uh, we'll probably see them tomorrow. So, so that's it. So that was a random vlog. Just wanted to take you on the ride and you know, you all that stuff. You're tired. <laughs> I am actually a lot tired. I'm very tired. So we're probably gonna go to bed at the end of this video. So anyway. Um, so, yep. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Awesome.